San Jose, longtime antiques dealers are struggling to survive, and now they're at risk of being actually pushed out. We're talking about Antiques Row. That's a string of businesses across the highway from Valley Fair Mall on West San Carlos Street. Ben Ramirez introduces us to one dealer who's afraid his livelihood will disappear. When you walk through the doors of Eduardo Massa's antique store in San Jose, it's like a trip back into time. Well-preserved pieces from the past and many hidden treasures from around the world. A beautiful piece of Chinese art. And there is a little bit of Eduardo in every painting, collectible, and graceful artifact in the store. This is also my personal collection. He's a former curator for art museums in his native Argentina, and his eye for detail shows. But after 29 years doing business in the unincorporated Burbank district, he's afraid he might be forced to close. To me, it's going to be a very, very bad problem. Eduardo's store was once part of a thriving antiques row on West San Carlos Street, but it's dwindled down to just four stores. And now the recent annexation of his block into the city of San Jose to build a large new development here could finish off the remaining stores. It means that like, this is going to be the end of my let's say my business. The block was always an island of county territory surrounded by the city, but when a developer submitted plans to build a large assisted living center on the site, the plans were unanimously approved by the city council, even though they could displace longtime merchants. We absolutely need more skilled nursing care and assisted living uh, senior housing in all of the city of San Jose, and I would even say probably all of the Bay Area on the north side that we're talking about with City Council member Dev Davis represents the district and says it doesn't have to be an either or proposition. What they're planning to do is to allow there to still be some retail space on the bottom and hopefully they'll be able to retain the, those antique shops. But as Eduardo looks at packing up, moving and especially the likely rent increases, he says it may oh, not make sense cool. for him at this stage of his life. I'm a very old person. I'm 76, so where am I going to go to get another job? And then there's the customers. They worry, too, that another unique San Jose shopping experience will be slipping away. I think it's a shame. Because of the high rent, they won't be able to open again. And we'll look what we'll miss. This has been my life all these years, and it's going to be a shame. Eduardo hopes to stay in business and is keeping an open mind to the coming changes. He's meeting with other dealers who are all looking for some way to stay in business in the middle of a growing and changing city.